for two years now, City Council Member Cumbo has been on the job representing Brooklyn's 35th District, and she's prepping for what's become an annual tradition, her State of the District Address, officially known as Vision for the 35th. In addition to a status report for the NABE, the address is also a chance to lay out some priorities and give constituents insights into what it takes to keep the city running. And it's all going down here at Brick House a week from tonight on the 25th. Well, thank you for sticking around with us to talk about the state of the district for a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I'm excited. Well, we're excited that you're having it here. That's Second right. Second time you've come to the Brick House. So what are we going to hear on Monday nights? Well, this is going to be a really very different uh, state of the district. State of the districts are often an opportunity for the elected official to talk about the work that's been done and the work that's going to be happening. But this is really an opportunity to have the community involved and for them to talk about their vision for the 35th. And that's why I'm excited about it, because it's going to be interactive. It's going to have uh, presentations from different um, organizations that are doing work in the district. It's going to be an opportunity for me, not only as the elected, to talk about work that's been done. Done, but to incorporate the vision of the entire 35th district into the work that we do moving forward. And a lot of this was really inspired by participatory budgeting, the process where your district gets to spend $1 million of their own taxpaying dollars and to decide how it's going to be allocated through a voting process. Mm -hmm. And so the winners of those projects um, have been recently announced. Yeah, it just and came out. Just came out. Yeah. And so some really exciting projects. But it was like, this is what government is all about. How do yeah. we empower the community and empower people to put forward their vision, and we as the elected simply are the conductor or the curator um, which these ideas flow through. So this will be an opportunity to have those ideas flow through me uh, via the community. So I'm ex super excited, and this is going to be great. Wow. What were some of those ideas, or what are some of the issues that you're already seeing? I mean, obviously, you're going to hear a lot more um, on the day, but what do you already know is happening in the district that we're working on? Well, I think that the major issue that happens um, throughout the district is gentrification and housing. So it's a lot in terms of people are struggling on an everyday basis to understand how they're going to be able to pay their bills, um, what they're going to be able to do to sustain themselves. And gentrification not only impacts housing, but it also affects education. It affects our schools and levels of diversity. It talks about issues in terms of how people are going to be able to find employment um, within the district, because the jobs are changing, the job force are cha is changing. So we saw, for example, uh, recently in the Navy Yard, where Sweet and Low, that's been operating there for decades, um, has decided to close their plant. And so over 300 workers that have been working there for a very long time are now going to have to find new employment. And then you have issues in terms of, like, the Navy Yard is expanding in an incredible way, and there are going to be more entrepreneurial and techno technological opportunities um, that will be happening here in the district. So the district is constantly changing. It's an amoeba. Give it's it's, a, it's mm -hmm. the ebbs and flows, all of that, and is giving the constituents an opportunity to see and hear what is happening in the district and how can I connect to it? How can I understand that there is workforce development that's happening through Brooklyn Tech, through the Navy Yard, through partnerships with Medgar Evers College that are going to have a campus on the Navy Yard and what that's going to mean for the Ooh. district and how all of that is going to um, impact our city, um, but most importantly, the 35th district. So I'm going to preface this next question by saying congratulations. You were honored last night by the folks at 227 Duffield. You knew about that. Yes. We, you know, we did a story You're last week. So there was an event last night at Roulette, and they honored you for helping to stay in the fight to really get some cultural institution established to honor that history of the Underground Railroad as yes. it relates to this city and this district where we're sitting now. So I just wanted to ask about synthesizing all of those things. You're clearly a cultural champion from your work at the museum mm -hmm. to work with 227. But getting all of that blended and making sure that the district continues to move forward business-wise and culturally, knowing that gentrification isn't just about where you get to live, but about the culture of the place. I think that's... I'm so glad that you brought that up in the sense of Mama Joy, who held down uh, 227 Abolitionist Way for so many years. What she's preserving is what Brooklyn is based on, and that's what's so important to me. The abolitionist movement to abolish slavery um, in New York and beyond was all about black people, white people, young and old, people of different economic and educational classes coming together. 
over a century ago to say, this is wrong, and this is not how we should work as a, as a, as a society. This is a crime against humanity, and we're going to work together to abolish slavery. So we already have a history that dates back over a century in New York of us working together in that way. So for me, that's the story of Brooklyn, and that's how Brooklyn was created. Mm -hmm. And so fast forward uh, to 2016, that needs to continue to be our story. How do people of all different walks of life come together and say, this is our home, this is where we live, I see you, you see me, we are one community, what happens to your child happens to my child, where uh, what happens with your grandmother is also going to affect me, and how we see each other, and how we recognize each other, and how we give power to one another, and how we give uh, a spirit of love and community in our neighborhood, and recognizing that all of the houses, from the public housing to the brownstone houses, to everything in between, is what Brooklyn and the 35th District are all about, and us continuing to find ways to live together. I think we just heard a little preview of the yeah. address from uh, next yeah, Monday night. I have goosebumps. And it's going to be interactive as well as inspiring. So in our final moment, tell folks how they can get involved and come down, even if you don't happen to be a constituent. I think there might be room for you. But how can folks come and enjoy Monday night? Well, I anticipate the same way so many great programs happen here at Brick. Brick has really become the town hall of the 35th district in terms of the types of conversations that are happening. So it will be Monday, uh, April 25th. It'll be happening from 6 to 8 p.m. And we just encourage people to just come on down, uh, participate, bring your ideas. There are going to be programs and presentations from organizations such as SOS, uh, such as uh, the opportunities to have uh, the New York Writers Coalition participate and having youth speak about what their vision for the 35th is. Like, we're bringing the senior centers, the youth groups, and everyone in between to have the opportunity to talk about what their vision for the 35th district is. And we want to hear those ideas. We want to incorporate. We want everybody to feel like the 35th is their district that they have the power to shape. And how cool is that? Yeah, we uh, also want everybody to RSVP now. That's right. Yes. Let us know you're coming. Let RSVP, us know. because we'll uh, there Brickhouse is limited seating. There, there is limited seating. seating. Yes, there is. <laughs> so you can RSVP at SOTD2016. Eventbrite.com. That's right. All right. So we'll see you Monday. We'll Thank see you, you Monday. Thank you so much for the Thank opportunity. You for